Hi, welcome to the Panasonic Test Kitchen. I'm Ken McGar, I'm the Research and Development Chef for Panasonic. And I'm Stephen Storer, I'm the National Accounts Manager for Panasonic. Thanks for visiting with us today. We're going to talk a little bit about maintenance. Now, more times than not, if you're having a service issue with your microwave, it is related to poor maintenance or non-maintenance. If you change the oil in your car, we're hoping you do three minor things to the microwave to make sure it operates properly. Number one, make sure the interior is clean. Wipe that out. Um, number two, the filter screen. Make sure that's clear, clear of debris. And number three, there is exhaust in the rear of the unit. And make sure that that has ample room to breathe. And if you do those three things, you're going to have a lifetime of operation with the unit. Steve's three items to look for, very, very important. And as he pointed out, Doing these three things will give you years of trouble-free service with your Panasonic commercial microwave oven. The first thing Steve talked about was keeping the inside of the oven clean. Again, cover all the foods you're cooking, but in that rare occasion where there's a boil over or a splatter, you treat the commercial microwave oven like any other piece of equipment in your kitchen. You're going to wash, you're going to rinse, and you sanitize. So in the case of a boil over, standard three-part cleaning, rinsing, and sanitizing. Wipe up the still with a non-abrasive cleanser. Rinse and sanitize. Do the walls, door, and top of the oven as well. For those times when you can't adequately clean the ceiling of the oven, there's a splatter shield that's removable. On the front of the oven, on the top, on either side, you'll find two tabs. Gently pull them in, drop the front of the flatter screen, pull it out, and clean it appropriately. What you'll see in the back are three holes. When replacing the splatter shield, make sure those three holes align with the three tabs on the splatter shield. Simply reinsert the clean, washed, and sanitized splatter shield back in the oven and simply press it up into the ceiling. You'll feel the tabs click into place. Steve's second point was the filter. Located in the front lower portion of the oven, it's removed by simply taking off and unscrewing the thumb screw on the right hand side. Once disconnected, you should be able to pull the filter screen easily away from the oven and pull it away. Then just wash, rinse, and sanitize. To replace, you'll see an eccentric cut out of the filter here. That slides onto the pin on the left side of the oven. Place the thumb screw back in the threaded portion to the right side and screw it firmly back into place. Rather than rely on your memory, or your employee's memory, to clean the filter, all the new Panasonic Pro One ovens have a filter reminder option that you can use so that after so many hours of running the oven, it'll remind you to clean the filter. Now in harsh environments such as quick serve where there might be a breading station nearby, you're going to want to set that reminder at 10 or 20 hours. More benign environments, you can go to 100 hours or 200 hours all depends on your application. So let's set up this oven for 40 hours of use before the filter reminder comes on in the display. To do this, simply open the door and while pressing the start pad, press the number 7 pad. An H will appear in the display symbolizing hours. Now simply put in the hours you want to put in. 40 for 40 hours and then just press the program button. And that'll lock in 40 hours. So now, after the oven has been operated for a total of 40 hours, F-I-L-T, or filter, will appear in the display. Now, the oven can still be used, and it can be reset by going through the steps we just went through. But remember to clean that filter. Okay, we just cleaned the air filter. That's where the oven breathes in. And just like you, you breathe in, you've got to breathe out. The oven breathes out in the back. There's a series of exhaust vents 
that have to be kept clear as the oven runs. Make sure your clearances are an inch on the back, an inch or so on the sides and top, and remember also, a cool oven's a happy oven. Don't put it on top of a heat lamp or next to a raging range where temperatures will affect its operation. There you have it. Easy as one, two, three, keeping this unit operating efficiently. Number one, keeping the interior clean. Like we talked about, keep foods covered when you cook them, wipe the inside of the oven out should spills or boil overs occur, and remember, when you have to, remove that ceiling splatter shield. Clean it and put it back properly. Number two, the filter. Make sure that's clean. can be removed with a thumb screw over on the right hand side, and remember you always have that filter reminder to remind you, depending on your application, how often to clean the filter. And last but not least, make sure you have clearance, and clearance so it can breathe. The intake here, make sure that's clear, and of course the exhaust in the back. A couple of inches on either side, and remember, don't put it on or near a heat source that is going to overheat the components inside the oven. Folks, thank you for visiting the Test Kitchen, and thank you for buying Panasonic. All the best.